Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Uy, Fer! Napakabisi mo today, ha? Oo nga, Fer. Ano bang pinagkakabisihan mo? Nagre-research kasi ako kung anong magandang packaging materials ang aming gagamitin sa piniper naming chili paste at atsara ni Ate Grace. Ano ka ba, Fer? Huwag kang mag-alala. Panoorin natin si Ma'am Dayan dahil ibabahagi niya sa atin ang iba't ibang packaging materials na maaari mong gamitin sa pagbalot sa iyong mga produkto. Tara! Let's, Let's G! G! Good day everyone! Especially to our Fernandino teens. I am Ma'am Dayan. And I will be your food processing teacher for today. Before we start our lesson, I want you to take a look at the following pictures. What do you think these pictures are trying to show? If your answer is food packaging materials, you are correct. These pictures are showing some of the types of food packaging materials. Can you help me give the name of these food packaging materials? Awesome! Get your pen and paper and write your answer. First picture. What do you think is the name of this packaging material? Very good! The answer is plastic. Second picture. If your answer is paper, you are correct. Third picture. You are right. The answer is glass. 
fourth picture. Excellent! The answer is metal. For the last picture, if you say lips, you got it right. Who got a perfect score? You did a great job. For today's virtual learning, our lesson is about packaging materials for processed food products. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let me share with you the learning objectives you need to attain this morning. Milk number two, prepare raw and packaging materials and supplies. Objective number one, identify the classifications of packaging. Objective number two, prepare raw and packaging materials and supplies according to specifications. Let us now deepen our understanding about food packaging. What is food packaging? Food packaging is the process of wrapping or enclosing food in attractive and colorful materials for the aim of a more appealing product presentation as well as protection and preservation. Packaging safeguards products against loss, damage, spoilage, and contamination during handling and distribution. It also displays the nutritive values that you can receive when you consume the product. The primary goals of packaging are to keep food fresh until it is sold and consumed, as well as to encourage customers to buy the product. To achieve these goals, proper packaging is required. Did you know that in the ancient era, the first packages were made from natural materials such as reed baskets, wine skins or bota bags, wooden boxes, pottery vases, wooden barrels, and woven bags? As packages were developed, processed materials were used to form them starting with glass and bronze vessels. Sheets of processed mulberry bark used by the Chinese to wrap foods as early as the 1st century BC were the first use of paper for packing. The Romans utilized low-grade and recycled papyrus for incense packing which was the first use of paper-like material in Europe. The first documented use of paper for packaging dates back to 1035 when a Persian traveler visiting markets in Cairo, Arab Egypt observed vegetables, spices, and hardware being wrapped in paper for buyers after they were sold. Let us now tackle the three classifications of packaging. Number one, primary package. It is the material that initially encases and holds the product. This is typically the smallest unit of distribution or use, and it is the package in direct contact with the product. This package, like Tetra Packs or canned food packages, is expected to meet all consumer safety and protection requirements. These are the examples of primary packages. Number two, secondary package. It is located outside of the primary package and is used to hold a specific number of unit packs. As an example, it could contain a dozen tetra packs, two dozen tin cans, and so on. Its primary function is to allow the unit packs to be transported in bulk. These are the examples of secondary packages. Last classification, number three, tertiary package. 
Tertiary packaging, also known as transit packaging, is used in bulk handling, warehouse storage, and transportation shipping. When transporting in bulk, the secondary package may need to be packed again for additional protection and bulk transfer. The most common type is a palletized unit load which fits tightly into containers. Tertiary packaging is typically used for bulk transport or storage in large warehouses. These are the examples of tertiary packages. Alright, so those are the three classifications of packaging. Later, we will tackle the different types of packaging materials when Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 returns. Stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbiling daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ng ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV Welcome back to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Earlier, we have discussed the introduction of packaging and its three classifications. Now, let us have a recap by having an activity named Let's React. In this activity, answer a happy face emoji if the given pictures is an example of primary package, a sad emoji, if secondary package, and heart emoji if tertiary package. You can type your answer in the comment section or write your answer in a piece of paper. Number one. Correct. The answer is sad emoji. It is an example of a secondary package. Number two. Very good. The answer is happy face emoji. This picture is an example of a primary package. Number three. Excellent. The answer is heart emoji. It is an example of tertiary package. Number four. Precisely, the answer is happy face emoji. This picture is a sample of a primary package. And number five. Fantastic! The answer is sad emoji. It is a sample of a secondary package. Did you get a perfect score? Good job! Now, let us tackle the different types of packaging materials. The most often used food packaging materials in many developing countries are leaves, 
facial fibers, wood, paper, earthenware, glass, plastics, and metals. Number one, leaves. Banana leaves are frequently used to wrap a variety of foods such as suman. Corn paste or unprocessed black sugar are wrapped in corn husk while prepared dishes of all kinds are wrapped in leaves. They do not, however, protect food against moisture, oxygen, smells, or microorganisms, making them ineffective for long-term preservation. Number two, vegetable fibers, bamboo, banana, Coconut and cotton fibers are examples of these materials. These natural materials are converted into yarn, string, or cord, which will be used to make packaging. These materials are lightweight, flexible, and resistant to tearing. All of these materials are biodegradable and reusable to some extent because they are made from vegetables. Number three, wood. Wooden shipping containers have traditionally been used for a wide range of solid and liquid foods, including fruits, vegetables, tea, and beer. Wood offers good protection, good stacking characteristics, and strength. Plastic containers, however, have a lower cost and have largely replaced wood in many applications. The use of wood continues for some wines and spirits because the transfer of flavor compounds from the wooden barrels improves the quality of the product. Number four, paper. Paper is an inexpensive packaging material. It is, however, highly absorptive, easily torn, and offers no barrier to water or gases. The degree of paper reuse will depend on its former use, and therefore, paper that is dirty or stained should be rejected. Newsprint should be used only as an outer wrapper and not be allowed to come into direct contact with food as the ink used is toxic. Number five, earthenware. Earthenware pots are used worldwide for storing liquids and solid foods such as curd, yogurt, beer, dried food, and honey. Corks, wooden lids, leaves, wax, plastic sheets, or combination of these are used to seal the pots. Number six, glass. This is one of the packages used in the early times. Do you remember fruits and vegetables that our grandmother preserved and kept in thick glass containers with either glass or metal covers? Today, glass is still in. It is still considered an ideal material for packaging food, especially those with brine or syrup, as these do not have chemical reactions with the package. Glass is durable, reusable, recyclable, and attractive. The only disadvantage of using glass is its cost, its weight, and shape, which may be pose difficulty in transporting, handling, and storing. Number seven, plastics. This is the most commonly used packaging, especially for dried foods. However, it is the most difficult to dispose of since it is not biodegradable and not environmentally friendly. The advantage of using plastics is they are light in weight, durable, and cheap. Because of these characteristics, they are used as alternative packages for glass and cardboard which are more expensive and more sensitive to transporting or shipping. Plastics are extremely useful as they can be made in either soft or hard forms as sheets or containers and with different thickness, light resistance, and flexibility. 
For the last number, number 8, metal. This material is commonly used in canned goods from meat to vegetables, fruits and beverages such as soft drinks, beers, sodas, and the like. There are two types of metal commonly used for packaging. One is aluminum, which is used for canned soft drinks, for meat products like luncheon meat, sausages, and soups. The other one is the tin plate. This is actually solid, heavy metal covered with tin to protect the metal against rust. Now, you already learned the types of packaging materials. Later, we will discuss the different packaging materials used in food processing when Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 returns. Stay tuned! Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon ng bulan na ini, pag masusyantaya ang National Heritage Month, nating temang Victory and Humanity, Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambe na nini, metong karang aktibidades na ng syudad, api ng launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Ng Heritage Passport, api ng metong karang proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad, yung pamin na muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong nuka rin makalagay lang ang dingeganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, naakit tamo kin kaya katamong heritage district. Makakaya daw din kaya ni, ding importansya daw ding mapay na tradisyon, kaya ni syudad, kalupa yun yung pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May ahos siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mula ding at syuking passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta palto may king tourism office, at mamiyalang sticker ka rin nga ganagan ang apuntalan mong lugar. At di mong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balo ni Ngeni, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko lang ding bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumaot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, kaya ni Siudad. Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Gawan nyo mo ba ang makapag-register? Munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabila ng kaya kayong heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyakin, na nano ko pa, tara na! TV. You are still watching Fernandina Teens TV Season 2. Earlier, you learned the different types of packaging materials. Now, let us proceed to the different packaging materials used in food processing. Number 1. Hard plastics are not flexible or elastic which are used for retail packaging in production of trays and form fill packs of fishery products. Likewise, hard plastics are light, durable, and resistant to corrosive substances and water. Number two, aluminum foils are tasteless, odorless, and non-toxic. They do not support mold growth. Foils are hygienic and afford first-class production for enclosed food. It is highly suitable for convenience food, frozen, and fresh-baked foods. Number 3, Retortable Pouches. It has a thickness up to 0.375 squared millimeters made by extrusion 
It is alternative to metal cans and glass containers and used for thermally processed fruit, vegetable, meat, and fish products. Number four, cling wrap or film. It is a rubber hydrochloride and is good for fresh, smoked, and frozen meats and dairy products. Number five, polyethylene or PE. It is used commonly due to its low cost, relative strength, and flexibility even at low temperatures according to Hermes 1998. PE is heat sealable but cannot be utilized in the manufacture of boil-in bag pouches according to Bremer 1985. Number six, polypropylene or PP. It has high resistance to grease and most chemicals, provide good barrier to water vapor, and can withstand high temperatures due to high softening point, but has low density and superior productability. Likewise, polypropylene is lighter, stronger, and more rigid than polyethylene. Number seven, polystyrene or styrofoam. Locally, polystyrene boxes are popular for transporting fish from the wharf to the market or processing plant. But they are difficult to clean because of the trapped container water in the ridges and are not durable, especially if pores are damaged. Number eight, Vacuum packaging. It is defined as taking off oxygen from the container during sealing in order to preserve the products. Vacuum pack products have longer shelf life than ordinary pack products due to non occurrence of oxidation. They have better keeping quality, especially on dried fish wherein no rancidity occurs. Number nine, glass containers are strong and non-porous and have long shelf life. They can be sterilized, are reusable and being chemically inert, do not alter the flavor of the contents. The transparency of glass allows light to affect the color of the food. For the last number, number 10, Metal cans are mostly steel with tin plating. It has low carbon steel covered with tin on both sides, lightweight, rigid, strong, and corrosion resistant. And now, I will show you how to prepare pickled mango. Here are the ingredients needed. We need Three pieces mangoes, one and one half cup vinegar, two tablespoon white sugar, one teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon black pepper. Here are the tools and utensils needed. We need knife, chopping board, plate, spoon, and mixing bowl. Here is a demonstration video on how to prepare pickled mango. Today, I will show you how to prepare pickled mango. The following are the ingredients needed. 1 and 1 half cup vinegar, 1 teaspoon salt, 3 pieces mangoes, 2 tablespoon sugar, 1 teaspoon black pepper. Procedure Peel mangoes using knife or peeler
after washing mangoes, cut its sides into two. Slice mangoes into long strips using knife. Dissolve sugar into the vinegar, add salt and pepper. Mix well. Arrange the mango strips inside a sterilized jar. Pour the mixed solution into the jar. Refrigerate it for two days. Alright, those are the ingredients and procedure in preparing pickled mango. Later, I will show you how to pack and seal processed food like pickled mango and candied white beans after a short break. Stay tuned! Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST, isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang malawakang pagtulong, pagtabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan, ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry 
na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay iaad ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring ipost ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade, at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng ipost. Pwede ring mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Tandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumiteya ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, Hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child. Kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV And we are back, Fernandino Teens. As I promised to you, I will show you how to pack and seal processed food like pickled mango and candied white beans. For the pickled mango, the tools, utensils, and materials needed are plastic jars with pickled mango, plastic sealer, hair blower, and food labels. Let us watch the demonstration video on how to pack and seal pickled mango using a hair blower. Now, I will show you how to pack and seal pickled mango using hair blower. Place the pickled mango jar in a flat surface. 
place the plastic seal on top of the pickled mango jar. Turn on the hair blower in a maximum heat, then heat the seal. Place the packaging label of your product on its container. Now, let us pack and seal candied white beans. Here are the tools, utensils, and materials needed. We need plastic jars, Spoon, basin, kettle, 3 by 6 inches clear plastic packaging, impulse sealer, and food labels. Here is the demonstration video on how to pack and seal candied white beans using hot water and impulse sealer. Packing and sealing candied white beans using hot water. Put the candied white beans inside the jar. Put the jar with candied white beans in a flat surface. Place the plastic seal on top of the jar. Pour a hot water on the upper lid of the bottle to seal the jar. Place the packaging label of your product on its container. Packing and sealing candied white beans using impulse sealer. Put the candied white beans inside the hard plastic bag. Regulate the heat time into 2 seconds. Put down the handle of the impulse sealer. Wait until the lead lights off. Wait another 1 to 2 seconds, then release the handle. Place the label of your product on its packaging.
Okay, those are the steps in packing and sealing pickled mango using hair blower and candied white beans using hot water and impulse sealer. Based on the presented videos, I use various packaging materials to pack pickled mango and candied white beans. I use plastic jars for pickled mango and clear plastic packaging and plastic jars for candied white beans. For your performance activity, this fourth quarter, you will prepare one processed food and you will pack and seal it properly in an appropriate packaging. Document your performance by taking pictures of yourself, demonstrating the steps in preparing and packing your processed product. Here are some reminders when performing the activity. Number one, kindly ask assistance from your parent or guardian while doing the activity. Number two, wear complete personal protective equipment or PPE like apron, plastic gloves, hairnet, and face mask. Number three, always apply safety precautions. And number four, for students who do not have gadgets and internet connection, write the steps that you perform and include drawings. Here is the scoring rubric for this activity. Today, we were able to prepare pickled mango as well as pack and seal processed foods such as pickled mango and candied white beans. You can also do this at home by following the simple steps I demonstrated to you. I have a question. What do you think are the reasons why there is a need to pack a product? Excellent! First, it helps to preserve the food. The food retains its eating quality for a prescribed period of time. Second, it describes and identifies the food item. Packages have labels. The labels provide information as to the content and name of the package. Lastly, it protects the food and has a product sales appeal. An attractive, neat, clean and decent looking package can attract customers to look into the product. This is the first step toward buying the product. And that is the end of my presentation. I hope you learned a lot today. Here are the references that I use in this learning episode. Again, I am Mam Dayan, your TLE teacher on screen. Keep tuning in at Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. Thank you for watching, keep safe everyone, and God bless us. Ang galing naman ni Ma'am. Alam ko na kung anong packaging materials ang maaari kong gamitin sa pinipair naming chili paste at atsara ni Ate Grace. Excited na tuloy ako magbalot. Ayos yan, Fer! Tara, Dino! Tulungan natin si Fer na magbalot ng kanilang mga produkto. Sige ba? Basta may patikong kami, ha? Kaya naman, maraming, maraming salamat, salamat ma'am! Isa na namang makabuluhang talakayan ang ating natunghayan, Fernandino Teens. Samahan niyo ulit kami sa susunod na episode na Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 Kung, kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa King Talino. Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin 
Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ang boses mo ay mahalaga Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ikaw lagi ang bida Ang mga Na siyang gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ng wasto at na